What's up, YouTube? Hope you're all doing well. If you're a returning subscriber, then thanks for support. I hope you're doing well. If you're a new viewer, then hopefully you enjoy this video enough to where you'll now be a subscriber and you can stay tuned and up to date on all my uh, modifications and my mountain biking videos. Today, we've got a small modification, but it's going to be huge for me. Um, it's going to make a huge difference. I got the Meso Customs door handle cover kit, all black. Going to look really nice. Going to replace out the chrome. If you uh, are a returning subscriber, then you know I'm on my journey to get rid of all the chrome on the vehicle all over. Um, we've already gotten most of it. You know, we've got no chrome Tacoma down there. Uh, we don't got any V6 and a little 4x4 emblem in the back. So that's all taken off. So let's get right to it and put these new door handles on and see how much better it looks. All right. So as you can see, there's some clips down here on the side and then this like part on here just kind of fits right into the door handle flush against it so nothing pops on the top um, what's kind of cool is you do have this meso or sorry miso i keep saying it wrong you have this miso little logo right there which is pretty cool towards the top so these should just slide on i believe i have to open it and kind of get this back groove in first so let's get the door handle open to where we can slide this back so you kind of push it back far and I'm going to pull it forward so I can get it locked into place. Okay. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be that easy, but let me make sure it's all in. Yeah. Wow. That was easy. Alrighty. Well, there's the first door handle and you can see it's all flush. So open it close it it's all flush if you do not have this in right what's going to happen is this is going to be open like that just a tad bit that's how you know that it's not um seated well in the back it's not locked into place okay. let's do this side now we're on the front passenger side let's see get that back there It's always weird when you go from a different angle now. Let's make sure that's seated. Okay, it's like locked into place, but not in the right spot. Okay. There we go. Bam. A piece of microfiber stuck right there. There we go. Nice. Whoops. There you go. Bam. Very easy to install, you guys. If, you, if you're uh, looking at changing out the door handles or getting the chrome removed, definitely get these. I mean, it's going to take me about five minutes to install these. All right, when you've got the back seated or clicked in try not to close your door handle like forcefully from here because you're going to get a little scratch on the edge on the inside so oh, that is obviously not seated in there okay that might be Let's get that all pushed in that should be good is it yep yeah we're all good Oops. bam easy easy peasy all right door handles are replaced all the way around it looks so much better especially from far away getting rid of that chrome looks so good all right so if you're a new viewer on my page what i'd like to do towards the end of the video is show you what i've done to my truck and then kind of talk about what i'm going to do uh, for future modifications or if you're a returning subscriber this is for you as well if you haven't been up to date on youtube very much and you know things like that so i first did the chrome delete so there was the v6 back here got rid of that and i put in some tailgate inserts um, i really like how those look makes the the tacoma part pop definitely i added the trd 4x4 off-road sticker in black um, so as you know it's more of like a red i can't really remember exactly what color or what it looked like before but i've now got this aftermarket one on there all black um, coming down here the Tacoma on the edges that is all removed I replaced it with the TRD off-road badge 
And then, I guess since I'm right here, the Miso Customs blacked out turn signals. Uh, got rid of the chrome ones before, put these on there. And again, those are from Miso, just like the interior chrome door handle uh, covers. All right, let's work over to the front. Got the TRD Pro Grill. I just put this in not too long ago. This is gonna come gray or whichever color you want it and it can actually match your vehicle. I wanted it black, so I just kind of covered everything around it and then spray painted that black. And then I added in <clears throat> the Raptor lights. And I'm also gonna be changing these out pretty soon, but I really like these. Um, well, I guess since I'm right here, I'll turn the lights on for you so you can see what they look like. All right, so that's how they look when they're on. They're very bright, all four, and these, are wired to only turn on when my headlights are on. So these will not be on when my daytime running lights are on. Um, you can do either or, daytime or headlights, but I preferred headlights only. Um, I just didn't want them on during the day for no reason. So very easy to wire. Um, I'll show you guys that as well. So installing the Raptor lights was fairly easy. We've got, actually that's for my sensor. Uh, let's see, okay, here we go. So the, all the lights are their own little connectors and they connect into here, which is the main wiring harness. So we've got four of them. Here's the other one. And I've got them, you know, hidden pretty well. I've got some zip ties running along here. Here's the main wire. It comes down through there, um, right here. I've zip tied it to the back of this. And here's the, <clears throat> the fuse box. So I've got my add a fuse and then you've got my wires are running down through the back over there and along here. So it's very clean. All you're gonna see is just your out of fuse wire. Um, and then I've got it in the spot for the headlights only. I think for the daytime running lights was over here. I'm not too sure. You'd have to watch some other YouTube videos, which are some great videos out there. But yeah, it's definitely not that hard. And to remove the, the old grill and put in the new TRD Pro one, this whole piece pops off. Easy though, it's just clips. You actually just remove these top clips there and right there and then it'll just kind of pop out and then you've got to remove some screws and things like that um and i showed kind of the whole installation video on my youtube page if you want to check that out it's a few videos back a few things i have planned for the tacoma gonna get the front bumper cut i'm gonna get a replace with a aftermarket a steel one I'm not gonna tell you which one yet because that'll be a surprise but it's gonna look really good I'll change out the fog lights to some amber colored ones. I'm also going to get some ditch lights up here. I'm debating if I want amber or just white. I'm not too sure yet because I think it look kind of cool. Amber, amber, and then when I get the roof rack and the LED light bar, that'll be white. So I think it kind of, I don't know, I think it looked pretty good. Like I said, amber, amber there, and white up there. And the front bumper I'm gonna get is also a white uh, LED light as well. And back to the roof rack real quick. I think I'm gonna do the Prinzu, I think that's how you pronounce it. The Prinzu premium roof rack where you can put the 40 inch light bar in there. And then you can also get one that's got 360 degree cutouts for LED lights. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna do that yet. Although it would be pretty cool to have two LED lights kind of above each door right there just to illuminate the sides when we're out camping at nighttime. And the most important thing is replacing those wheels, replacing those tires and getting a lift. That'll be done kind of more down the road because I want these brand new tires to wear out. I mean, the truck's only four months old. So it's gonna be a little while. I wanna do that all at one time. Um, it's gonna be around a three and a half inch lift. And then tires, I'm gonna go with some KO2s, I believe. Not too sure on the, wheels yet but we'll get that figured out later can't forget this little modification i changed out the little wimpy exhaust looking piece well i don't know it wasn't even there wasn't even exhaust tape on here it was just all this like that so i put a black oem exhaust tip on there looks a lot better gives it a nice little i guess sporty look you can say the chrome and the tail lights that's got to go Actually, the whole tail light's got to go. I don't really like them. So I'm going to get a smoked out one. Not sure which ones I want yet. Been playing around, looking at a few. So I'll have to make that decision pretty soon here because I do not like it. I really like how a rear, I think they're called a high clearance bumper. I really like how those look. 
So it's basically cut along here to be flush to replace that and just gives you more clearance on the bottom and then it'd be a steel bumper in the back. I like how they look. I think I might do that in the future. I'm not too sure yet. Let's go to the interior real quick before I end this video. So really soon, I'll get a black little emblem overlay. Vent rings will get replaced. The chrome underneath the shifter will be replaced. Those two, even the climate control, those are gonna be black. If I make these black, I don't want that to just be randomly gray. So make that whole area right there black. I even think the kit comes with this right here. Pretty sure, I almost forgot. I'm also gonna get some rock sliders with the little kick out piece in the back. Damaging this bottom piece on here would not be fun. It is very expensive to replace that and a pain in the butt. So some rock sliders will make it look good. Especially for my fiance, when it gets lifted, it'll be easier for her to get into the vehicle and whatnot, maybe even myself. That's gonna do it for the video. Hope you all enjoyed that. If this is your first video you're seeing on my page, make sure you check out the other ones. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. We are less than 30 away from getting 100 subscribers. Once we get there, we're gonna do a Tacoma accessory giveaway. I've got a couple of products that I'm ready to get rid of. So I figured I'd do a proper giveaway. Also, I just purchased a new mountain bike. I don't have my 2020 Specialized Stump Jumper anymore. I've got a new one. It's absolutely sick. It's a beast. I haven't done any downhill riding on it, only kind of very beginner trails just to get used to it. And it's a monster. So stay tuned for the unveiling video on that. And I'll kind of talk about it a little bit and whatnot. And in terms of the modifications, I'm getting to the point now where the small mods, for example, the turn signals, the badge are running out. You know, I'm almost done with them and it's coming down to the big mods like the front bumper, the lift, the wheels, the tires, the mid travel kit, all that. However, all that costs a lot of money. So it's gonna take a lot of time. This isn't something I'm gonna be able to do, you know, back to back to back. Um, so they're slowly gonna start coming along and I hope you guys stay on the page and, you know, kind of get excited for those mods because they're not gonna be you know once every week they're not going to be once every month or something like that it's going to be over a period of time and hey maybe sometime soon my page will get monetized and that'll definitely help i could put all that money i make on youtube to the mods that way we can get a sick build on this 2020 tacoma trd off-road something that will turn heads break necks and you know off-road like a beast so with that being said again thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed that and stay tuned for future videos. Stay safe and stay happy.